and staffed uh, computer stations 24-7. So you notice that they press uh, Starlink really hard. And <laughs> in, uh, what are we, in March 2023, uh, the, Star the Starlink has been hit or miss, mostly miss. So it's um, just been disappointing for us. Uh, it's interesting because we've been kind of collecting sort of anecdotal evidence from other passengers on the ship uh, about their experiences. And it seems to depend on what you're doing. Oh, this is a little concierge desk right here, down on deck three. Uh, it's only staffed certain hours of the day, I think, when I've, I've seen somebody here twice. It's, um, but depending on what you're doing, what the application is, uh, the Starlink works and doesn't work. If you do anything like a Zoom video call, Teams video call, YouTube live stream, stuff like that, you might have a lot of problems like we did. If you're just nothing but Facebook and email, probably won't notice an issue, probably won't notice a difference. This is the uh, guest services area, tucked away down on deck three. So then uh, from here, we move into the Martini Bar. This is uh, kind of one of the interesting hearts of the ship. It's uh, kind of a nonstop party every night. Um, Grand View, is that what it's called? Yeah, this is the Grand View Plaza, I think. We're down on the lower level. It's three stories, basically. And so uh, as we swing around to the right, you see like a piano, and they usually have a DJ that sets up back over here live musicians that perform back over here. Yeah, kind of so have your, your dance floor. Martini Bar and Grand Plaza. Yeah, so we are right there in the Grand Plaza, the Martini Bar right there on the deck, deck plan, which is this guy right here. And so you got a dance floor and everything. It's yeah. a really cool like step up design because yeah. that takes you. You can sit all here, you can sit second level. Yep. And then there's chairs up there and yep. then there's even chairs, I think, yeah. further up. Yeah, because you've got all the way up on deck five up, up there, you can sit and kind of look down on it. Mm -hmm. So deck three, deck four, deck five. Um, there are rumors that the, the captain does like a bartender thing during the cruise. I think on our cruise, she's supposed to be down here on Friday night, uh, night number six. And she's down here with the bartenders doing tricks with the alcohol and stuff. But this is kind okay. of a... I want one of those. <laughs> the kettle one. Espresso martini. Espresso martini. <laughs> like we could just stop recording right here and take a break. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this fully stocked bar, they've got everything here. Nice big bar. This is always pretty lively at night, this whole area. Uh, I've seen them down here doing dance classes. Um, you know, so they'll get people over here on the floor doing classes and stuff. Um, band playing, DJ playing. Uh, they've got some lights up in the ceiling up here. Uh, the chandelier duh, gets into the lighting, you know. Um, so it's a pretty neat place, especially in the evening once it starts to kind of darken down. So you've got seating up here on deck four as you get around to the Le Grand Bistro restaurant. And then uh, one of our favorite places is actually right up there. That's uh, Cafe something, I forgot the name. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the cafe. Uh, why is it not <laughs> on here? It's on deck four, because we're on three. Oh, four, okay. Yeah, helps go to right deck. Oh, there it is, El, uh, El Bas? Cafe El Basio. Basio? Okay. Sure. 